Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review Season 1 of The Last of Us. And this show blew up, and is arguably the greatest adaptation of any video game ever, and I would probably agree. This series, I feel like, is something really special, and it's quite the impressive feel, like, impressive impressive series that has shaped what we've been able to see and you look at IMDB and all these episodes are easy like high eights actually they're all nines or mid eights except for you know a couple episodes that I feel like are dragged down for some other reasons because you know they have gay and lesbian characters which kind of pisses me off but you know that's life and IMDB is Something that's just out there that anybody could throw a review on. But getting back to this actual series, I think this series is an incredible look at humanity and how something like a pandemic, how this epidemic, these fungi that have turned humanity into zombies has really shaken things up. And for a series that is a zombie series, half the episodes don't have them. But you see the depths of humanity and where humanity must go and pushed in a situation like this. And, well, getting to the actual zombies, they're, the design are terrifying. And those moments are horrifying and scary and put you on the edge of your seat. And each one of them, whether it's like the second episode or I think it's the fifth episode where they really become a big part of it, it's shocking and unnerving. This series is just filled with beautiful moments of like the whole third episode with um, you have Nick Offerman's character and... Nick Offerman's character, who's like this reclused kind of like doomsday prepper, Bill and Murray Bartlett's Frank, who comes into his life. Their love story is just, God, tragic and absolutely beautiful. And you see that, and then you see this connection that Ellie, our main character, Bella Ramsey's character, and Storm Reed's Riley have as they're like trapped in this mall. And those two episodes feel special in the whole scheme of all of this. But the journey that we go on, seeing Ellie, who has an immunity to this, this infection, and trying to get her to a place where they could do something with it, and the journey that she has to go on, and the journey that her and Joel go on, is intense, it's engaging, and it's enthralling. Pedro Pascal is fantastic and you see Joel push to some dark dark places and the final episode of this is just haunting and really challenges you to look at humanity and how we interact and engage with the world around us. Ellie is pushed to some dark places to survive and the second to last episode of the season is messed up as hell dealing with this cult and the places that she has to go to confront the evils that are going on in this place. There's great little scenes like the with John Hanna, the f opening scene of this show, explaining how this could possibly happen. That's just haunting. The opening scene of the second episode where we see the dawning of this happening and the lengths that they try to go to stop it. it this show has some of the most haunting and heartbreaking moments I've seen in television, period. And the way that it balances the zombie elements, the character moments, the just stark realities and the harshness of humanity that we see throughout this series, this is something special. And this is what happens when you take a show over to HBO Matt, to HBO, and they just absolutely knock it out of the park. And it leaves so much... I've never played the game, and this just blew me away. Narratively, character-wise, thematically, it's so dense and layered. This is one of the best shows on television, 
and I'm so excited to see where the story goes in the second season. But those are my thoughts on season one of The Last of Us. Let me know what you think, and let's talk some TV. But thank you, as always, for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.